Hey guys, T-Bird here. Thanks for checking out this workshop. Today I'm going to be sharing some thoughts on creating dynamics and how my strat relates to that. I'm also going to show you a string skipping exercise that I've personally found really helpful and a musical idea I've been working on. But first I want to talk about how I use the different pickups in my guitar to help create dynamics in a song. Now what do I mean by that? So instead of just relying on adding more gain to your sound, Think about how you can use your pickups and a combination of plucking and strumming and their intensity to create dynamics. For example, you could use your middle pickup or your neck bridge combination for the intro and have it quite bright. Then switch to the neck pickup for the verse and roll off the tone a bit so it's darker, creating that dynamic. Then in the pre-chorus, add some of that brightness back in and maybe your first gain stage. Then building into the chorus, you can go back to your middle pickup then switch to your bridge pickup once you get to the chorus. Here's an example of that. Now this is a good discipline in and of itself, but it's even more effective if you're playing in a smaller venue that has a smaller stage and the overall stage volume really has to be maintained. Now we all know that tube amps sound best loud, but we need to remember that we're just a part of the bigger picture and there's only probably going to be a handful of people that are going to actually notice if our amps running on two instead of five. Okay, so this is the string skipping exercise that I like to do. It makes no melodic sense whatsoever. In fact, it basically sounds like a computer malfunctioning. But it's great for improving accuracy and coordination between your right and your left hands. It goes like this. Here's a practical application for that string skipping exercise. I'd just like to add a side note to this exercise or any other exercises you find yourself doing or even just it's really good to think about this while you're playing and that's how hard are you holding down the strings and how hard are you strumming and holding the pick and plucking if you're using your fingers and if you can think about if it's 10% being your lightest most gentle touch you can imagine to all the way through to 100% where you're almost gonna break the neck off or you know break all your strings at once like Try to be thinking about like, obviously at a higher intensity, you're going to be playing 70, 80, maybe 90%. Because you don't be going like 100% the whole time. But it's really effective. And if you're coming up to a part that's maybe requires 20%, try to be thinking about that is how you play that 20% and how you play that intensity so it's 20%, if that makes sense. Because you're going to be playing a part 
that needs 20% at 50% or the other way around. It's not going to be communicated as effectively. It's just something to think about. I also like to spend time coming up with different riffs or chord progressions or musical ideas that might lead to another musical idea that may or may not get used on a project. But that's not the point. The point is, is that we're spending time improving our creative ability and momentum so that our best is getting better and then we can bring something that's going to be fresh and help create moments and ultimately point people towards God and that's part of what I believe we're called to do. Well, I hope you've been able to get something out of this and apply it to your playing. I'd love to hear your feedback or any questions you may have. You can contact me at this email address. Talk soon.